a lot of young people, it's like anything they head for the big lights really. Once you discover you're gay, you sort of initially sort of magnates it sort of a, an area where there's other gay people and that's the gay scene so there's a lot of risks involved so we sort of try and put a little bit of a gap a barrier in between that that it's not necessarily about going out and getting drunk and going on the scene which is all part and parcel of it which everybody does but sort of some, come somewhere where you can get a bit of credible advice you know you tend to ask your friends about certain things when you're growing up whether it be about sexual health or where to go because I'm gay you know and Going to a youth group is not always the best thing. It's for them. It's going out and drinking and whatever. So we sort of try and offer an alternative or something that's additional to that. Head towards a youth group. Youth group yeah. is the best place to go to begin with. It eases you in slowly, and it's not yeah. a club scene because a club scene can be quite yeah a bit and more because you never and plus it's like full of like sometimes full of other people and it's like in a youth group it's like an age limit so you get to pe meet people your own age group. So the first service I got it was gyro in Young Advocacy Service in town. Uh, I met Karen, I was down really that day. Uh, I was lonely, it was in January. Uh, also, he told me about Gyro, also told me about the shopping afternoon. Gyro is all gay, lesbian, bisexual people, so, so, but uh, afternoon is like more like straight people, mixed a lot. So uh, I started going, I feel like, comfortable with it and everything. Then he told me about the Amstead. So I went there and met a, a girl called Lou. She's also a gay and she's, she's really helpful and everything. So she opened to me and talked to me. I think young gay people sometimes have a variety of needs. Um, they don't have to be so complex needs to attend a LGB youth provision. Sometimes it is just the chance to meet another young person who's going through a similar sort of journey. Um, sometimes it is a chance to cop off with someone um, instead of going out onto the internet and meeting undesirables really <clears throat> um, and people who are much older and masquerading as young people there is an element of safety and sometimes it just gives young people a, a bit of confidence to be able to access other services sometimes it can be a bit daunting um, and being gay isn't the only thing that defines them so we try to look out, outside of just the sexuality and provide what young people need. The reason why I come to Cairo is because I'm um, used to make new friends and that, and um, because I've got like made friends for life here. So I've met some, you know, my best friends here, like you know Liam and I know George as well. And um, I'm like the longest member here, but it's like a good place. The youth is are nice, and um, it's just I don't know, fun. Somewhere to go, where you have something in common with people, and you don't have to hide being everywhere. Get involved in res the residentials, going away for weekends. Uh, Getting involved in campaigns, charity, raising money for charities. And I'm proud. Getting involved in pride, yeah. Just got someone there, so if you need to, do you know what I mean? And I was like, when I came out on the scene, I was a bit like, wilds and didn't know what I was doing. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. So, okay, yeah, and like, just give you sexual health, like stuff like to let you know what to look out for and stuff. Young people can self refer into the youth provisions, and we also have very good relations with all. Or most services in all areas, really, especially like youth service, like yeah. David mentioned, connections, advisors, CABs, um, GUM clinics, doctor surgery. So young people can pick up information. Um, more often than not, people will go on the internet and they'll find our web page, or they'll get Armistead's phone number and they'll call up, or they'll just show up. Young people yeah. with all the mates. <laughs> <laughs> She's not gay, but can she come in? <laughs>